This is Toy with Toys Food Chronicles, and today we're making steak fajitas with a side of salsa verde. <laughs> Welcome to Toys Food Chronicles. I'm Toy, and the purpose of this channel is to bring people together through the soul and spirit of food. And how we do that is we help uh, the average home cook and backyard grill cook prepare stunning meals for their families and guests. Well, today, once again, we're making steak fajitas, and I got two pounds of round steak, and I'm very excited to get started with this. So we're gonna get started with the marinade for this steak. And obviously we got the things that we're gonna saute up. We got our onions, we got our bell peppers, we got our tomatillos. We're also gonna make a salsa verde, and we're gonna do that with some tomatillos, some cilantro, a little bit of garlic, uh, and a few other uh, items there as well. But as far as our steak is concerned, we want to get into that because we got to let this steak marinate for a little bit. First thing we're going to do is tenderize our steak. So there's two ways we could do this. We could beat it to high heaven and we could tenderize it that way or we can tenderize it in the way that we're going to do it today. We're going to take a little bit of cerveza, a little bit of beer. We're gonna take a lime and we're gonna do salt and pepper. And that's how we're going to marinate our steak. I know most people get close-ups to this. Right now, I don't have a cameraman. <laughs> I have me. So, <laughs> let's go. Boom, 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 boom. I got my lime. And I'm gonna hit that on both sides of my steak. Boom, 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 boom. Get that with the lime, boom, boom, boom. Get that with the lime, woo! Boom, 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 boom. There we go, that's awesome. So now we wanna get a little bit of salt on there on each side. And it's okay to be a little generous with it. It's a, lot, it's a thick piece of steak. A lot of people do their fajitas with skirt steak as well, but prime top round is gonna be good for our fajitas. Boom, 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 boom. Gonna hit it on both sides. We're gonna do the same thing with the pepper. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> All righty. We're gonna do the same thing to the other piece of steak we got here. So I'm assuming that each of these are a pound because I got two pounds. Now, this isn't the end of our marinade. The next portion of our marinade, and then we're gonna let this sit for 30 minutes, is our cerveza. Lovely wife, could you hand me my cerveza and a bottle opener, please? Thank you so very kindly. My wonderful wife is assisting me a little bit. Thank you so very kindly. Now the type of cerveza that you use or the type of beer that you use to tenderize it can be your favorite type. The purpose is not to drink the alcohol, the purpose is to tenderize the meat. And I learned this in Mexico from my brother-in-law, so my wife's brother actually taught me this when I was in Mexico. So we're going to get this all tenderized and we're gonna cover this up for 30 minutes. It's not about me in this shot, it doesn't matter. So the reality is what we're going to do next is we're gonna take these tomatillos and we're going to peel them and then we're going to soak them in the water. So we're peeling these tomatillos. If you notice the tomatillos, it'll be a little bit sticky. That's fine, you're gonna soak them in water. And this isn't gonna be long. So this is actually for our salsa verde. So we are going to boil these after we soak these for a little bit. So we peel them, 
then we soak them. All of our tomatillos, they are all in here in the water soaking, getting a little limpio or a little clean. That is wonderful. I just found out that when they do their fajitas, they also add the aguacate. So we are actually going to make my wife's guacamole today. So we're going to add the aguacate and the avocado. And so that is awesome. But right now, we're allowing these tomatillos to boil. And we're gonna let them boil for about 20 minutes before we start adding our other flavors together. Definitely been a little more than 20 minutes. You know that they're completed when they have a little bit of discoloration uh, on them. I let, a I let it cook over a little bit longer than I probably should have. So now what we do, we're gonna take them from this pot and we're going to put them in our wonderful blender and we're gonna take them. They are definitely quite fragile and soft at this point. So you really wanna take them until they're slightly discolored. So, so they go to this little bit lighter green and then once they hit that, then you want to scoop them and transfer them. You don't want the water from the pot per se, because the tomatoes, the tomatillos, are going to produce the liquid that you need. And then we're going to talk about some of the other stuff that we're going to add to this. So, as you can see, I'm concentrating, so I sound really real, really, really real, really, really real, really, really, really real, real. You know what I'm trying to say. This is the deal. And this is our last tomatillo. That's our tomatillos. And it has a lot of liquid in there. Some of the other things that we're going to add is going to be onion. We're gonna add a bouillon cube of chicken or pollo bouillon cube. We're also gonna add cilantro, aguacate, which is also called avocado, and garlic. We're gonna let this sit for a moment so that it cools down just a little bit. We don't wanna add all of the elements while it's still hot right now because we want our salsa, the spice to come from the jalapeno. So also we're gonna add jalapenos. So now this is where we take our bouillon cubes, just one. We're gonna open that up, put that in there. We're gonna take our garlic. There we go. We're gonna take our cilantro. Alrighty, so now we're going to slice this onion. So I need three quarters of this onion to go specifically toward. So now we're gonna slice this onion and I need three quarters of this onion to go toward the steak fajita and a quarter of this onion to go toward the salsa. So I'm going to be very strategic about how I do this. So, boom, boom. I typically take all of the excess off. I know some people will be like, you're wasting a lot of the onion but I just want all of the best flavor of it. So I just go ahead and get all of this and I make sure that I don't get any of the little dry stuff. So I just peel it one layer back and get rid of that. Now, as far as the rest of this, boom, 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 I need to get three quarters. So here's a half of it and I want nice sizes for the fajitas. So I'm gonna cut them sliced a little thick and then boom, boom, boom. Alrighty, I'm gonna give this a few pulses and then we're gonna see how this is going. Now, there's a couple of more things that I gotta add to this to thicken it up just a little bit. One is the aguacate or avocado and then for a little bit of extra spice, I'm gonna throw in a jalapeno. Alrighty, so now we're gonna have to cut the avocado. 
Well, this knife isn't big enough to actually do that. So I might have to pluck that out like that. My wife, she's a stickler for doing this thing right here so that it comes out with ease. So when you squeeze it, it just comes out. So we're going to take this over there. Now we're going to definitely get our avocado in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Boom, boom, boom. We're good to go. So good. Yum, 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 yum. There we go. The rest of our avocado. That's why we sliced it up so we can get that part off. Get that in there. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Little messy. Boom, boom, boom. So just so you know, I typically use fresh ingredients. However, today I did not grab fresh jalapeno from the store. So I do have jalapeno that is in the jar. And so I will use that. And I'm putting four slices, which will make probably one whole jalapeno uh, in there. So the base of this guacamole, which could be a salsa verde, but uh, what makes it that guacamole is adding that avocado to it. So it still is going to have kind of this nice and creamy flavor to it. But the base is the tomatillo. So it's more silky than your average guacamole that you see on the market. So now we're going to be cutting our bell peppers. What I like to do is I like to take my end caps off. A lot of people will throw those end caps away, but what I do is I kind of do a little slice down this portion right here. And I take these parts off and I keep those and I use those for whatever I'm cooking. So for each of these, I'm going to cut them in half because I am not going to use the whole thing. We're going to save these halves. And so that is how this looks. This is gonna be wonderful in our fajita. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. We want our vegetables heating up simultaneously while we have our meat going uh, because we're gonna cook our meat uh, not completely in the pan on its own. We're gonna cook the meat enough so where we can slice it and then we can add it to the rest of our fajitas that we're making. So we're gonna start out obviously with some oil and we're gonna then add our onions. We're gonna put a little bit of oil here for our meat. So we're using a two pan system today. We got uh, this larger pan and that's gonna be for our vegetables and we got this a little bit smaller pan that's gonna be for our meat. We're not gonna cook our meat totally. We're just gonna start it. We're gonna add our vegetables in. We already got our oil heating right there. Then we're gonna add our bell peppers. And after that, last but not least, oh yeah, we're gonna add some mushrooms to our fajitas today. So here we go. We're gonna start out with these onions. You're getting a little bit of a sizzle there. You want these in nice thick chunks when you're preparing it at home. Otherwise, you get little bitty slices or dices and it just doesn't look like the traditional uh, fajita. So you want your onions sliced large, your bell peppers sliced large. If you use extra things like mushrooms and things like that, then you want them sliced a, a little bit larger. Getting these onions to sweat just a little bit first. Then we're going to start adding some of our sabor, for our flavor, our adobo, so on and so forth. Alrighty, so. These are sweating nice and good. And we want this still to be kind of chunky. So 
So once we got a little bit of sweat in there, we're going to add these bell peppers. Yes, right now they are there. Color is immaculate. Now, while we have both of these in here, we are going to start building our flavors. First things first, for flavor, you always add salt first. Then, we're going to add our pepper, yes. Now, for our fajitas, we do want a little bit of color, so we are gonna add some of this tahini. We're gonna give it a couple of shakes of that. And a little bit of adobo with pepper. You don't want to shake too much of this. You already have salt, you already have pepper. So it's just a little for flavor. Give it that Mexican flavor. Mmm, so good. So now we're going to blend this in. I do have this pan on, so it is ready for our meat. So we definitely want to get that going. So this plant, the pan is also on medium heat. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Yes, both of these round steaks have soaked. They are ready to go. I might have to cook them separately. They're a little bit larger than I expect. They're a whole pound. So these round steaks are good. I'm going to cook it on one side, then cook it on the other. Then I'm going to slice it on the cutting board and you'll see what I do, and then we're going to add it into our fajita blend. Right now, also, you're gonna see me add these mushrooms while the steak is going there. This also gives it a nice, good, healthy, heaping, meaty, earthy tone, and it also is packed with flavor. We're putting all these in. Awesome, let's just go for it. Boom, boom, boom. Now, I'm just gonna take this first one out. When I'm slicing this nice hunk of meat, I am going to slice it going across the grain. You don't want to cut your meat with the grain, otherwise you get this uh, more than chewy. And it's, We tenderized it so it can be tender. I can get this uh, wonderful piece of meat ready. Now I'm going to go with the grain to get this cut in half, but that's a good medium rare if you like it medium rare. However, we're cooking these all the way through because we're doing fajitas, so we're doing nice strips of steak and these strips are going to get cooked the rest of the way with the veggies. These are like almost a perfect mid-rare by the way. Awesome. If you like mid-rare, I'm a mid-rare guy. So I can't help myself. I'm going to try this mid-rare round steak. Give me a piece right here. Yum, yum, yum. That's good. <coughs> the pepper is definitely in there. I put salt and then I put a nice shake of pepper in there and it is making it taste wonderful. So that's awesome. So now these strips are ready to go with the rest of our vegetables. That's hot. Now we're gonna give these a good stir, ah, because we want the meat, obviously, to be closer to the pan, because we gotta get that meat cooked, mainly because my wife doesn't want to eat mid-rare meat. But the other reason is because we want to make it as traditional as possible, and that meat typically is cooked all the way through. This piece of steak is going to be for me. <laughs> Typically, when you have a fajita, you would use flour tortillas. However, if you're gluten intolerant, like myself, I used corn tortillas, and so made it more like a taco style. But the ingredients are for a fajita. If you find any value in this content, definitely smash that like button, hit subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be updated all the time on our live streams as well as uh, any other shows or episodes that we will be doing for you here on the channel. Now, I am going to make this happy face wink <laughs> because I am definitely folding this over and going to have a wonderful, wonderful bite. I gotta bring that over here. Alrighty, so this is my bite. 
Mm-hmm. Nice and sloppy. Just like I like it.